Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Perry Spencer Funeral Homes in Eden and Madison. Honesty, dignity, and affordable services since 1953. Here's a report on last night's Mayadan Town Council meeting. Plans are moving forward on a new housing development on River Road with 31 homes in Phase 1. Rake Straw Investment will be filing a petition for annexation possibly as early as today. An amendment to the town's golf cart ordinance was approved by a 3-2 to two vote allowing golf carts on the streets between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. only. About 45 are currently registered. Council approved a contract with Buckeye Elm Contracting in Columbus, Ohio for removing and disposing of debris at the former Washington Mills site on NC 135. The cost, $891,807. The company anticipates it will be on site 37 workdays. Buckeye Elm was the only one to submit a bid. Council approved a continuing five-year contract with Veolia Water Contract Operations USA in Paramus, New Jersey, to operate and maintain the town's water treatment facility. Annual costs not to exceed $42,932. Mayotan Police Chief Charles Caruso presented intermediate law enforcement certifications to Dolores Fulcher. She's been with the department 17 years, Landon Fellows, six years, and Patrick Wilson, two and a half years. Chris Lawson, with 20 years in law enforcement, received the highest certification possible, advanced law enforcement. Council also approved an opening prayer at meetings by local ministers and the annual franchise for Hamptons Taxi. Plans are being made for a fast-pitch softball tournament at Ferris Memorial Park, ages 16 and under, Saturday, August 6th. There are three teams so far. One more is needed. Deadline is this coming Saturday. Call 336-406-5343 for more information. And paddle boats are back on the lake, available on weekends. Stoneville Town Council meets tonight at 7. I'll have a report on this newscast tomorrow. Now Rockingham County weather from Shiloh Airport. Today, mostly sunny, high 91, low 65. Tomorrow, a 50% chance of rain. Thursday, mostly sunny. Friday, a 30% chance of scattered showers. High all three days, 85. For the weekend, a 50 to 60% chance of rain. High in the low 80s. Triad record highs and lows on this day, 98, 1930, 50, 1963. Get current weather information anytime at MikeMoore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream 24-hour weather camera, powered by heat and air controllers. You can depend on them for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. If you support American-owned businesses made in the USA and believe it's important to shop with local hometown merchants, You should be a customer of Lane's Family Pharmacy in Eden. Don't be misled by those who don't support American products and businesses. For countywide prescription delivery, call 336-627-4600-627-4600. Shop local at Lane's. Progressive presents the Sports Flash on Mike Moore Media. The Mets beat the Braves 4-1 Monday night in the opening game of the National League East showdown. Max Scherzer pitched seven strong innings. Pete Alonso had two RBI, the result giving New York a two-and-a-half game lead ahead of Atlanta in the National League East race. The Braves were only able to manage three hits off Scherzer. That included Austin Riley's 24th homer of the season. Nine strikeouts in the win. All-star closer Edwin Diaz pitching for the third straight day struck out the side of the ninth for his 19th save. Max Fried gave up two runs on five hits and five walks, matching his career high over five innings. The Rays beat the Red Sox 10-5 on Monday. The result pulls Tampa within a half game of the second-place Red Sox, who are 14 and a half games behind the Yankees in the American League East. The 61-25 and 25 Yankees have the best record in baseball and had Monday off. 
For lightning fast sports updates, download the Score app. It's free and one of the most popular sports apps in North America. That's the Sports Flash, Chuck Sanders, Mike Moore Media. Podcast preview, William Phillips, Mayor of Madison, and Perry Webster, Interim Stoneville Town Manager. Available in the 9 o'clock hour this morning, wherever you get your podcasts. Now the community calendar, sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden. Granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential. They're in the former Kmart building. Check out their Facebook page, Night Owl National Stoneworks. This week at the Hive, Uptown Eden, today, Try It Tuesday, Wine Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Chili with Bob Ross, Friday, Fast Times at Shady Pines, Saturday. More information on Facebook at Hive Eden. Real Jazz will be playing at Little Brother Brewing, South Elm Street, Greensboro, Friday evening, 8.30 till 10.30. Cruise in in downtown Stoneville, Friday Classic Cars and Food, 5 till 8. Beach and Barbecue Bash, Downtown Madison Social District, Saturday noon till 9. Summer Games, Food Trucks, Music by Moxie. Jacob Vaughn at Reynolds Brewery, West Meadow Road, Eden, Saturday 6.30 till 9.30. Free Food at Reedsville Alliance Church, Freeway Drive, Reedsville, Tuesday, July 19th, starting at noon, Sponsored by Cormai Community Development Corporation. 50 pounds of fresh food and vegetables per family. Annual Shaggin' on Philcrest in Eden. Saturday, July 23rd, 7 till 10 with Jim Quick and Coastline. Free admission, food and beer garden. Downtown Reedsville concerts at Market Square. The next one coming up July 23rd from 7 to 9. Tell Me Lies Fleetwood Mac tribute. Announcements are made free on the community calendar. Now today's consumer report. Sponsored by Reedsville Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center downtown. Annual ice cream social this Thursday 4 till 7.30. RSVP deadline today at reedsvillechamber.org. With high gas prices, scammers are pushing a free gas card scam. They're now running ads on social media that offer consumers a chance to win a $500 Shell gas card if they take a survey. All they have to do is provide some personal information and a credit or debit card number. The FTC has reached a settlement with Weber Stevens Products, the maker of the popular Weber barbecue grills. The agency sued the company, charging its warranty illegally prevented consumers from using third-party vendors and parts to make repairs in violation of right-to-repair rules. If you were out of work for a while during the pandemic, it should not prevent you from qualifying for an FHA mortgage. The government is adding new flexibility that lenders can pass along to qualifying borrowers who experienced a gap in employment or loss of income during the pandemic. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Today in history, in Leakesville, July 12, 1923, the state was having big problems with a new bridge on Hamilton Street across the Dan River. They had to make it crooked because the town had already sold lots in the right-of-way, and the landowners were threatening to sue. Leakesville Landing, located there today. And yes, it's still crooked. In <laughs> 1933, the minimum wage in the United States was established at 40 cents an hour. Oh, here's something to celebrate, National Pecan Pie Day. Or is that uh, pecan? Uh, either way, it's good. The first recipe... Traced to the early 1800s in Louisiana. It's National Paper Bag Day. The first paper bag machine was patented in 1852. Now, the birthday club. Let's see who's celebrating uh, for Tuesday. Yes, it is uh, July 12th, and I have these names. Pretty good, uh, pretty good stack of birthdays. Jamie Murray. Roy Sawyers at Rockingham Update, Valerie Richardson, Ada Lynn Linville is two, Madison Goodson, Kelly Mabe, Jessica Shelton, Michael Dale Johnson Jr., 
Sebastian Flint, Jerry Lewis, Angel Vernon, Sue Robertson, Adam Keene in Stoneville, 44, and Angela Smart. Happy birthday to all of you today. Let me go over those uh, one more time. Ada Lynn Linville, Valerie Richardson, Jamie Murray, Roy Sawyers, Angela Smart, Adam Keene, Sue Robertson, Angel Vernon, Jerry Lewis, Sebastian Flint, Michael Dale Johnson, Jr., Jessica Shelton, Kelly Mabe, Madison Goodson. Hope it's a wonderful birthday for you. Let me know who's celebrating. Get in on the Birthday Club and our weekly giveaway. That's on Friday. Really nice prize package valued at over $100. Text birthdays to 336-932-1881. Now some big name birthdays, just a couple. Richard Simmons, 74, and Jake Wood is 50. Who? Jake Wood. He's the voice of the Geico Gecko. Here's author Philip Gully with today's hometown tale. While I was in college, I pastored a little Quaker meeting in the country. The first Sunday I was there... Edith Record stood and asked us to pray for her friend, Bernice. Bernice's tongue had turned a painful black. We'd never prayed for anyone with a tongue condition before, but were open to the idea. So we prayed with gusto. Bernice had a daughter named Betty. Betty had a medical book that listed every ailment known to man. She read it whenever she needed perking up, contemplating all the things that can go wrong with us but don't can have a cheering effect. After long nights of reading, Betty found something called pernicious anemia that turns your tongue black and makes it hurt. Bernice went to Dr. Bradley, who ran a blood test and discovered Bernice had pernicious anemia. In addition to her anemia, Bernice was going deaf and blind. Once I was walking up her sidewalk and could hear her radio turn full blast. She was sitting in a rocking chair, the radio pressed to her ear, listening to a basketball game. She was a fan of Indiana University basketball and Coach Bobby Knight. When Coach Knight threw a chair during a basketball game, they showed it on TV. Bernice told me it was trick photography. Bobby Knight said he saw an old lady standing up who needed a chair, so he threw her the one he was using. That might have been Bernice. Shortly after that, I moved away and lost track of Bernice. Then one day, her daughter Betty called to tell me that Bernice had died and wanted me to conduct the funeral. Bernice was buried in the same graveyard as her mother, who died in the flu epidemic of 1918 when Bernice was eight. Bernice got shifted from one relative to another until she married Adelbert and moved away. They had a daughter named Fleeta, who died at the age of 18. Bernice never told me all these things. Mostly she just talked about her blessings. She lost her mommy, lost her daughter, lost her husband, lost her hearing, lost her sight, but spoke of blessing. You can tell a lot about a person by what they do when pain passes through. There are all kinds of learning in this world. There are the things you learn at college, such as science and poetry and math. Then there are the things you learn sitting in Bernice's front room such as prayer and goodness and faith. Hometown Tales, a collection of stories by author Philip Gully, is available from Multnomah Publishers. And that's our program for today. Let's finish with our motivational moment. We must not only give what we have, we must also give what we are. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful Tuesday, friends. And remember to count your blessings.